time of year again Where ghosts and ghouls start to transcend So hide in lockers, look away Before Freddy comes out to play Dr. Sempty does await Filled with monsters full of pure hate Oh, oh I'm so bad, this is a fucking way right. How will you ever win this fight? How will you ever win this fight? How will you ever, how will you ever, how will you ever this is i think this is an actual like scary game not like that kind of game like a a halloween themed game i think this is a scary game I think. Let's go, please. I'm begging you, do not kill my ears. Screen resolution. I'm torn by 1080. Graphics quality. I don't think this is going to matter, so I'm not even going to touch it. I'm afraid to. I don't want to break anything. This is called Marginalia. I knew I was going to do that. Marginalia. I don't know what this game is. I'm staring at the sky. I haven't told the story in a very long time. You'll have to forgive me if I have trouble keeping it straight. Okay, but like, where do I go? I think I go on the tunnel. I like when there's voice acting because then I don't have to say anything about the words. I feel like I came from the tunnel though. He's got like a Stranger Things ambiance going on here. No, we're not gonna go on the tunnel. There's no way. So I just wandered. <laughs> there's so many. All right, there's gotta be invisible walls though, right? Stop me from venturing into territories that I don't need to go to. Please. Oh, it's just letting, it's letting me go. Open world horror game. Hey, my mouse, hello. Wow. There's probably something up there I had to do. The first page, yeah, true. Why is this area so big? Is that something over there or is that just weird lighting? I think it's weird lighting. I need this uh, music to stop. Honestly, this is reminiscent of the, uh, you know, that one game, The Body, Urban Legends, The Body or whatever. Urban Legend, The Dry Body. Very frightening. If I hear a crow, I'm turning the sound off. Ah! What the f- Ah! Ah! I was seeing if the clouds are moving. They're not moving. But if it's the same guy? No, because you can hear the voice acting in this. And the other one, the voice acting was like... <laughs> and then the creatures were like... <laughs> and this isn't a... We had a lot of these toys when we were younger, Emma. Like that. They go. They just put them in front of a megaphone for this. It's taken me a really long time to walk anywhere. But this looks like something. Eric left six weeks before in the dead of night. I started awake when the door closed, but I drifted back to sleep immediately. I woke up covered in dew. I looked out the window to see the sun breaking over the horizon. The automobile was gone. I showered, got dressed, and took the bus to work. Oh. All right, can we get a vote in chat? What should Deb do with her life? <laughs> oh, can you, um, did you see my new emote that I made? Emma, can you put the, my new emote in chat? <laughs> He used to have the same dream over and over again. A figure stood on a far away hilltop. It beckoned to him. I asked him if the figure always wanted him. He told me that the figure either wanted him or someone standing directly behind him. Which one is worse? You do whatever you want. You don't have to edit. You gotta take a nap. I don't know what the hell this guy is talking about, by the way. Can you even hear me over this loud-ass game? I feel like I'm getting equalized into the uh, volume. 
I was sitting at my kitchen table across from an empty chair when the doorbell rang. But the Lord bell Surprised, rang. I dropped my coffee cup and it shattered on the floor. I threw the door open expecting Eric to be there. A delivery boy with the letter stood before me. I read it to myself. Moving my lips to cement it in my memory. It was a short missive. Come to me. I found it. The return address read Kesselberg. I bought the train ticket that afternoon. I bought the train ticket that afternoon. And then I went to the store. And I got a big old loaf of bread. And I made a peanut butter sandwich. And then I ate it for lunch. And then. I realized I had leftover wings from the night before, and I've never been sadder. I shot at the rock of Eric's desk drawer five days after he left. His absence had driven me to find any and every memory of him that I could. His notebooks were there. He scribbled constantly, privately filling volume after volume. Every few months I would catch him writing and ask him about it. He would smile beautifully before changing the subject. Sometimes he would refer to his history in casual conversation, never elaborating. It was strange at first, but it became our rhythm, an untold secret. The hell's that thing? So I ignored whatever was in that desk drawer until the hammer drove it open. It's where Zerglings spawn. It's a spawning pool. Also, what the hell is this guy talking about? His roommate left or something? Was his boyfriend? I don't know what's going on. I read the notebooks on the train. His handwriting traced out the contours of the page, proving that the once wet paper made it make it seem like he had some of the words from the sheets themselves. This is... Please stop talking. Like an encyclopedia. Each entry told the story of another arcane place, object, or person. God. There was a record of the families who had lived on a single acre of land in the north of France. There was an oral history of the Turkish city. There were ten pages on a pitchfork that changed hands during strange moments of history. The stories refused to come here for me, and I wondered why Eric had put it all together. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. Something about Eric and pitchforks, uh, history. There's an alien thing on the top of a mountain. Wow. One of the journals, Eric. The left was devoted to Kesselberg itself. Town the train delivered me to was not the first Kesselbrook. Trying to bunny hop there. Sure. The town of Jerome showed that the main direct from a small valley a few miles away. At the turn of the last century, the Kessler family had struck out from nearby Allenberg because of religious persecution. Although Eric's notes were unclear about what that meant. The family of eight built their cabin and barn in the spring of 1815. 1815. A year later, only five remained. And the next winter stayed only the matron, Eileen Kessler. The trader had passed through. During the summer of 1817, I was the last to report seeing her alive. Okay. Is this like in his journal? Why is what? Dude, imagine. <laughs> imagine I'm walking like this all the way to the end. No one settled in the Kesselbrook region for Hold 50 years. years after the last Kessler disappeared. Erwin Paladin's The History of the Rogue. I know you care about this. I can't in interrupt. Right. As a one paragraph entry on Kesselbrook. It ends with the sentence Stories abound of howling and lights in the distance during the night, but not a single soul I spoke to claimed to have traveled into the valley during the past 25 years. That's the wrong caption is up. Oh, I was saying it would be really funny if uh, if I got to the end of this and then that monster spawned that's flailing its arms all over the place and the scream came. God, I would love that. That should be the end of every horror game. <laughs> and the game crashed? I feel like, uh, I don't know. Like, what's the point of this game? It's literally just a walking simulator. But how long do I have to walk? Oh, more noises. That's the aliens. People sell this stuff. Can I find a Demogorgon? Oh my god, look at that light. It's so far away. Am I going downhill this whole time? Yeah. Why can't I just throw my car in neutral, push it a little bit, hop in and get coasting? Or just like lay down and do pencil rolls all the way to the bottom? No, no an obstacle between me and that light I'm going around I've been holding shift this entire time out of habit it doesn't do anything all right let's find another narrator post here the Kessler's barn blew down sometime during the record setting storms of 1816 but no one knows when the cattle burned a hunter named Brian Taylor entered the clearing in the fall of 1820 to find a rotting foundation in a scorched ruin there was no sign of Irene Kessler he picked through the wreckage and found nothing no clothing no possessions nothing of value Firefly. It was only a clean, burned void in the middle of an empty field. Eric noted that Taylor's journal, Howls and Howling University Library, contained a short account of his journey. The hunter wrote that he felt as if someone was peering at him from the surrounding hills, and that the Eric still leave as fast as possible. You know what he should have done? He should have left another a trail for me, because I don't know where the fuck I'm going anymore. That's the last light I was at, and now I'm in the middle of a field. Yes, please abduct me and just kill me. End the game. Oh, wait, I see something. Like, if you turn a little bit, look at the side. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's called Viper Strats. Wait, there's a house. There's also that thing over there, though. I want to go over there. Wait, this. Oh, there's a trail. Fuck, I want to go over there. But honestly, I don't care enough about this game to go exploring. I use the term game lightly, by the way. Don't go into the tall grass! You've never seen Lost World Jurassic Park? Look at this. There's raptors in here. Fight a raptor? Oh yeah, they, they could just randomly give me a gun. A lot of these games just do that. If the game gave you a gun and you were suddenly fighting raptors, that would take the game from a 1 to a 9. That's true. It really would. Honestly, if they threw in that gangly dude with the screaming, that would take it up to like a 4. Give him the, uh, the sound. Is that another building? It is. It's just so hard to see everything. Oh, I thought that was a person. Okay, well, I don't care about this building. Let's go. I thought I saw a chest at the top, but I know that's not real. It's just hallucination. Where's my path? There it is. All right, let's hear it. Tell me, what's going on? Again, because I was scared when the train pulled into the station. Porter told me that I had best find a room for the night. I explained that I wasn't there on vacation, no business, and that I needed to find my way to the real Crystal Brick. I needed to make my way to the secluded glen where I hoped to find Eric. In retrospect, I know that I should have waited for the night, and I was compelled. There was something about the moon. Eee! For the night air. That was so close. Oh, please kill me. The porter drew a map <sighs> from the back of the brochure. In smudged pencil, he showed me where to turn from the main road onto a dirt road, and then where to leave the road entirely. I left the streetlights behind me and traveled into the dark. And then found more streetlights. Also, you should have grabbed, like, I don't know, a scooter, a bike, some sort of off road vehicle. Just anything that gets us through this faster. Or just, like, I don't know, walk faster. A gas powered wheelchair? Anything. I'm determined, though. I will finish this. Eric's parents died several years before he disappeared. Their home caught fire just as the sun was going down. Ooh. He told me that the fire engines had passed him as he was walking home. And it was only when he rounded the corner that he saw the plume of smoke blotting out the newly risen moon. And then he turned around. I had my pants down. And then he saw a new newly risen moon. And said, ha ha. Your parents are dead. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? I wish it had just gone to the other alien places. Maybe they would have killed me earlier. Touch it? Damn it. Next light? We're going uphill now. We're getting out of the valley. Do I have feet? No. There's a house. Or is that a bridge? This is a lot of land put into a game. There's gotta be branching paths. I hope not. If I get down a path and I find a dead end, I'm just closing the game. I don't know. It's like I'm in little nightmares or something. Can't there at least be like something following me? Like, I don't know. Freak me out a little bit. Get my blood pumping. Wow. Oh. I can't explain what drove me down the path between the trees. I felt like I was haunting that place. I knew that I needed to be there. I knew that Eric needed me. It seemed to be enough. It was in his journals. His line revolved around Crystal Brook. All the answers were there. I read the papers. But I couldn't figure out the question. Mmm, he would have been terrible at Jeopardy. That's like the whole purpose. Oh, you guys like my mug, by the way? My Spooktober mug. Eric's journal entry for the Rocky Lights outlines a sect of traveling monks who began their order sometime in the latter half of the 16th century. Founder Tranquilo Baldi claimed that he had seen a figure step from the fresco of the saints and disappear into a crowd. Not long after founding this group, Baldi was killed by the Italian state. His last words are quoted in several heretical texts on art from the time period. Fire is the only truth. I'm gonna ask Deb if we can name our first child Tranquilo Baldi. What the actual hell is happening? I don't know. And I, I think now I lost my path and I don't see where to go. Ooh, light. I wish I had a mini map with waypoints and quick travel. And just like, I don't know. Anything, any kind of mechanic. A few nights before Eric left, he told me that he felt like an anchor. He said that he felt like he was dragging me down. I didn't know what he meant, and all these years later, I still don't quite understand. I think I got close to figuring it out that night when I walked through the valley. I felt what he said. He was dragging me towards some dark center of the world. Sometimes I thought I could see him standing out there among the trees. When I tried to make out a shape, it was like I was peering over some vast abyssal shelf. At the end of this, you're gonna pass out and wake up to the beginning of Skyrim. You know, I had that thought earlier, but then I'm like, well, it feels like I'm already in Skyrim. Just like without, this was like the map of Skyrim 
and then they just took everything out of it, except for the trees and weird objects from Oblivion. Are I've... you asking me if I think Kesselbrook is haunted? Where is Kesselbrook? No, at least not in the way that you mean when you ask me. Isn't that like a town? Someone went there a long time ago, ready for the seed. I'll see if you want to grow. Mom wants to grow. This may be the most boring, uh, crappy horror game I've ever played. I've been given to understand that the town of Kesselbrook had a hell of a time getting started. Still birds plagued both the settlers and their work animals. The cultivated fields would spontaneously catch fire. Packs of wild dogs roam the streets in winter. The historical record suggests that they were driven out of the hills by competing predators, but it does not speculate on what those predators could have been. I wonder who, or what, changed its mind and allowed these people to catch hold and prosper. Like a weed on a cliff. A wee? Like a Nintendo Wii on a cliff? Jesus Christ. I jumped and it scared the hell out of me when I landed. Where am I? I'm going back down the mountain. I don't, am I supposed to be going? I gotta be going. There's no way I can't be going. This way. Eric's notebooks yeah. are full of Ooh, marginalia. Ooh, look at this. Notes on top of notes to explain how a figurehead was toppled. With a cross-reference in the medallion that tore apart a family of Dutch aristocrats. The last few entries are sketches of stones or altars. What the fuck are Numbers you talking about? Pepper the places. Their surfaces are plotted in grids that stretch out beyond them, accounting for the ground and the air between them. Little points of significance in the absence between the things. Damn, that foghorn went crazy there. Yeah, I think that's the bridge I crossed. I could have just jumped off the side. God damn it. This is just like a the developer's fart slowed down by a, like a thousand. I think I'm in a Nolan film, maybe. He does like his horns. His bones. We have no narration for this part, so uh, just throw in some weird noises. Go. Yeah, that's good. That's good. We like that. Don't like that one as much. There we go. Animal or cricket noises. Yes, good. Alien time. Take me. You suck me up your tractor beam. Give me bio enhanced legs. Let, let me run fast. The sound began as a low whistle at the edge of understanding. It doesn't I make any sense. Eric. At that moment, I could feel a strange energy on the wind. And something rushed by me. I thought something was going to rush by me. There's nothing here. Oh, big rock. felt machinery creaking to life. I screamed for him. Everything went dead silent, but I could hear him whispering to me. I can't. I don't. It wasn't like him. The silence was a dull hum that I fell toward the stones. I think I was screaming, but I couldn't hear myself. I, I'm screaming and no one can hear me. But Eric is whispering and telling me that everything would be okay. And I can hear this horrible gear tick. Kill me! <laughs> Help! 
I have to go all the way there. Get my top left screen. What's going on? Oh, there's another one. Hurry! We have to get to the Tower of Isengard. Oh, this is a, like a reticle. Yeah, this does look like more like Moria with all the red going on. Jesus, get us out of here. Is this the uh, the Tower of uh, Sacrifice? One can only hope. Almost fell off. Oh my god, I'm probably falling off. This has got to be the end of the game, right? Our, my screen is breaking. Do I know why I'm so small? Because I'm Frodo. That does make sense. Everything's coming together. Is that a person? Is that our friend? What's his name? Charles? Chris? Chris, my glass eye, it's breaking. I just want to say, I love you. No matter if you were taken by the Gorgon Heimers. Is that it? Prage. Finally awake. I'm just gonna try to keep walking, I don't know. No. That's the entire story. I promise that's all. Thank the you. Sun broke over the hollow. I woke up and scrambled back to the road. Then back into town. Then back to the train. I lost Eric's journals. I think I left him there. And he was glad that I did. I don't think that there was any malice in it. He was Shut up. I don't care. That was the most boring game I've ever played in my life. Alright, let's do, um, next game.